Hello and welcome. It is much, much later in the day than what I normally like to uh, get this recorded and published. However, ah, it is so important that I be in that right energetic state of being when I do my readings. And that is the other reason why I didn't do one last week, why I didn't actually publish any readings for last week. It's been at least a week and a half, I think, since I published videos. Yeah, because I was processing through a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, especially when this whole Mercury retrograde hit and the new moon, it was just boom, ah, insane. So, do you feel me? Huh. My name is Rochelle Richard. Welcome to my channel. Today is Twin Flame Tuesday. Uh, this reading is for myself and uh, fellow Twin Flame travelers. Um, oh, I'm going to say this all the time. I feel you. I feel you. It is quite a journey, this Twin Flame journey, right? I mean, the self-love empowerment journey in and of itself is one thing. Trust me, sister. Trust me. That's that's that was my gig before I even learned I was a twin flame. And that was the foundation I was going to need because as I mentioned on the, the video I just made, it'll be published tomorrow, uh, Wednesday. Um is that as twin flames for our templates, RV and I, we we checked every box. We said, "We'll we'll take it all, coach. We we'll do it. We got it. We'll do it all. Sign us up." <laughs> so, I know this journey. You're not alone. You're not alone. All right, that said, I am working with today the Unicorn Oracles and the Work Your Light Oracle deck. So we shall see what happens today. I am sitting out enjoying, oh, there's a flip, enjoying such a beautiful afternoon here in the Phoenix Valley on my back porch, which I am you're gonna watch transformation happen soon. I ordered, I'm gonna be putting up a tapestry back here behind me to, it's gonna be totally different. I'm gonna be creating, um, I'm gonna have to hand stitch it cause I'm not gonna buy a sewing machine for two projects. Um, cause then I gotta learn how to do it. I know how to hand stitch. So I'm a hand stitch, uh, a cover out of this gorgeous green and gold fabric that I found. And so it's gonna be like this whole, nature haven you can't see it but i do have plants here i'll show you really quick see i do have aloe vera and i have my francine there that's her name i have no idea what kind of bush she is but um her name is francine and she's awesome she attracts hummingbirds with her beautiful beautiful purple trumpet flowers um so this is like this beautiful environment here and i am just and i wouldn't be sitting here where it Whoa, were it not for my twin flame. That one jumped over, so we're gonna go through here. Were it not for my twin flame. He is the only reason, the reason, that I moved this chair in Ottoman out here to my porch just about two years ago. Almost to the day, I don't know specifically what day, because it was October 3rd that I started replying back to him because it was just so, like, I, I couldn't believe I accepted his friend request. I couldn't believe I did. I wasn't accepting any men's friend requests. I had, as far as I was concerned, I had no reason to. Well, yeah. So we're gonna be doing a few more videos these days, more and more out here, especially, there's another one. And I didn't see it before it flipped back over. So. I like three cards for whatever reason. Maybe the the the, the try the divinity. I don't right. That said, oh, for my fellow twin flame travelers, for 
for those of us on this incredibly intense, often seemingly hopeless and excruciating and unbearable, like I don't want to do it anymore kind of kind of journey, I this is for us, right? This is for us. So first and foremost, innocence. The card itself reads, take time to play, nurture your inner child, live with a childlike sense of wonder. You know, we have been taught to be so hard on ourselves, to doubt ourselves. And did you know that doubt is one of the major, major challenges that you are guaranteed to come into during a twin flame journey? Because for one, just the concept twin flames, it's kind of like people gonna look at you like you crazy. Especially those who aren't in the know, okay? Believe me, I know, okay? I was there, all right? But it's so amazing that we beat ourselves up. We actually, you're actually, I assure you, you are making this more painful than what it needs to be. You are making this more challenging than what it needs to be. And I say that because believe you me, I'm right there with you, sister. I'm right there with you, okay? And we do this to ourselves. The universe doesn't do this to us. We do. All right, this is all about us you know, stepping into our f- power, looking for and finding that power, and then you know reclaiming that shit and fully stepping into that. And that means that we've got to you know stop being so stuck on one perspective of our experience to actually allow ourselves to revert back to that childlike wonder, to ask why. This is how we really truly do shadow work, is we ask why, why do I feel this way? Why, why am I angry? You know, why do I want to do that? Why do I want to say that? Okay. Why is this coming up now? Why is this being triggered now? All right. Begin to really look. You know, it's okay to ask, why is the sky blue? It's okay to ask. It's okay to ask how a pencil is made. You know, whatever it is. Begin to really look through the eyes of your child self. Because you see, as twin flames, we are creating this new earth. This We are an embodiment. We are here to be an embodiment of new earth energy. And that's creator energy. That's expansion energy. Well, that means you can't be in constrictive, critical parent energy. (laughs) Telling yourself you're not allowed. And this is, these have been some of my own things for my twin flame journey is um, my, my critical parent, my, my mean girl, as I say, my ego telling me that I'm not allowed to love my twin. I'm not allowed to believe that we're twins. I'm not allowed to tell people that we're twins. I'm not allowed to, um, want to be with my twin. I'm not allowed to even believe in that. (laughs) You know, I, I was, I grew up in a, in a Catholic upbringing and it was very very limiting uh, a very limiting belief system very much so so it's time to free that inner child because here's the other the other aspect of this this being one you know being um, in that childlike space you know of wonderment is that it raises your vibration You don't have, I mean, it literally, it's, you don't have the weight of the world on you, right? I know there were some children who did, I know. Very young ages, some of us. We had a lot of weight on our shoulders, I know. But those times when you didn't, I know you know those times. That's that space, that's the energy you wanna be in because when that weight is off you, guess what? Literally, you can see it. You you rise up. You raise up. 
because you're not so weighed down by that negativity. That positivity is allowed to rise, you're allowed to lift you up because you're not being so weighed down by the negative. So really start to let yourself, let yourself go get that ice cream cone. All right, let yourself have that chocolate bar. You know, I, I do my best to be healthy. I, I got to, working on being healthier, that all this crazy 2020 stuff here um, had me eating a lot of junk food this year. I'm not going to deny. Okay, but that's all right. That was my inner child, we could say. It's been great. And what else comes along with this childlike experience, with this childlike state of being? Remember, close your eyes and remember, what were some of the things that you would play imaginary about? Huh? What would you daydream about? What would you pretend was your experience that you were creating? What magic? were you creating in your experience see this is why this is why my fellow twin flame travelers and I, I again I, I need to hear this all too is that we've got to remind ourselves we've got to allow ourselves to remember that innocence within us that in truth that is our true essence in the way that we are here to have fun, to explore, experience, expand, ascend, to create magic. We've got to get out of our own ways. We've got to be the ones to stop telling ourselves that we cannot have that because that sounds just that just sounds insane they're gonna lock you up and throw away the key for thinking something like that don't you dare go talking it either i would say after this year there's got to be a whole nother criteria for what crazy actually looks like just say and this year, just in case this is a video you're catching in the future, it's 2020, baby. It's 2020. <laughs> All right? Because right now, there is so much magic that is happening. We are magic. This realm is magic. The dense heaviness that we have come to know it as is what we've been taught to believe it is. But it is not because... We are not this heavy, dense body. We are energetic beings of light and love. Infinite beings. Powerful, magical beings that create their realities. And especially as twin flames, Oh my goodness, that's why we're here. I reiterate, we're here to be anchoring in the new earth. We're here to be um, assisting with this shift, this consciousness shift. We're here to be creating a new earth of love. We are here to create. And if you actually allow yourself to look at your experience lately, as of late, look at your experience. Have you been having times when you'll think of something, but you won't even say anything, and next thing you know, it appears in your experience? Someone you haven't talked to in a while, they cross your mind and poof, there they are. Right now, things are happening so much faster, okay? So it's so important that we are doing that work to let go of the lower vibrations, the dense energy. And we do this by really truly seeing that inner child within ourselves and allowing ourselves to begin to look at this whole experience as just a game. This is, we're just playing a game. We're just playing a game, right? You don't have to be stressed. You don't have to be overwhelmed. You don't have to feel frustrated. 
Now let's see what this card number three was. Oh, mercy, mercy, mercy. Yes, have strength. Because I'm here to tell you right now, if you're sitting watching this video, you've already come so far. You've already come so far. Can you, can you just for a moment allow yourself to see how strong you are? What have been some of the most incredible, maybe painful, intense times of your life that you were so sure you weren't going to make it through? Yet here you are in a completely different space. Yay you. You're a strong ass bitch. Just saying. Sister. <sighs> because you know, it's only your mind, it's only our mind, the ego, the dense negative energies that tell us that we are weak, that tell us we are not strong, that tell us we can't make it, we can't do this, that especially on a twin flame journey that, oh my gosh, I can't take this anymore, I just want to talk to him, I just want to know what he's doing, I just want to know where he is, and on and on and on and on and on, and we're giving away all of our power, all of our power. So we don't feel strong. We don't feel strong. But when we go, wait a minute, wait a minute, and we start to remind ourselves that we are our twin. Our twin is within. Our twin is within. Oh, I'm hitting the microphone. Our, I'm sorry. Our twin is within. And then all I've got to do is go within. And there he is. There he is. You are so strong. You've only got to let yourself see it. You've only got to allow yourself. To experience your own strength. That's it. And as you do, as you begin to allow yourself to feel how strong you are like you are you are a strong motherfucker i'm just saying that sentence enhancer required you are a strong ass motherfucker because again if you're sitting here right now especially after the year this one has been i reiterate right right so begin to allow yourself to see your strength and i promise you you will grow stronger because what you're really gonna be growing stronger in is stronger in your knowing, in the knowing that you are strong. Because that's all it is, that's all it is. You're already strong, you've just got to grow stronger in the knowing that you're strong. And especially Twin Flames, listen, all of us, all of us have had many, many lifetimes. We have all been preparing for this. This is what we do, y'all. This is what we do. This is how we roll, homies. This is how we roll. You know, seriously, that's where I am. Okay? Because even I, even I myself have disallowed myself from seeing my strength. Have disallowed myself from seeing my magic. Have disallowed allowing my, you know, I've disallowed myself to just play and have fun. That's why, again, I'm going to be setting this up here. It's not going to cost a lot. It's not like, uh, right? I'm re, no, but it's going to be so amazing. Like this whole little forest right here on my back porch in the Phoenix Valley desert. Okay. Just saying. All right. So having fun, being creative, allowing yourself to look at this world with a childlike wonder again. All right? Because in that space, you're in that receptive mode. You're, you're able to receive your twin. You're able to receive love. You're able to receive guidance so much more readily from the universe. So get the fuck out of your own way, man. Get, the, get out of your own way. And I'm saying this for me too. Because believe me, I've been in my own way very, 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 very much. All right. So that said, let's see Oof. how things look with our light worker card. Because again, all twin flames are light workers. All twin flames. Holy moly. 
like um, that would be a first to do this well because it just spit out five cards and I've never done it this way before I normally am like oh no I'm not gonna do a whole stack yet after all the shit that I went through the last week and um, just what this year's been in and especially for what we twins are needing to know like the more information the better now I want to pause and point out that it is so important that you be really tuning in to your inner knowing that when you listen to intuitive psychics you know card readers and such you know because we're all that when you listen to those one make sure that it resonates but number two realize remind yourself that I am creating my reality and I can create and shift to any timeline at any given time that I choose so when you are given guidance and uh, especially if it's for foresight you've got to be in your power of knowing that I still choose I still possess free will to create a different outcome and this is especially true for twin flame travelers because right remember this whole separation shit this whole illusion of separation it really got us a little wonky huh right but it's it's all it's all part of the learning it's all part of the of the journey okay all of it so that said we're going to see what all five of these cards are all about because apparently yeah we needed them all so ooh, we're going to uh, do exactly that all right so first card and this is so 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 important especially right now especially as twin flames and especially as empaths something that i have come to recognize and it just makes just such sense that all twin flames are empaths because why we need to be able to truly feel to truly feel humanity to truly feel for others so we know what to stop feeding and what to amplify, right? We've got to know. So then we can also relate and they in turn relate to us. I mean, my story, which I'm gonna be creating a video about that where I really, and I have, it's kind of interspersed, but I honestly don't have like an actual single video that just goes through my, my story and such. So working on that, all right? Bio is being created. I digress though. So first things first, again, as twin flames, as empaths, and again, all twin flames are empaths. We're all sensitives. We're all light workers, all star seeds, um, who have come during this time to assist humanity with ascension, with the great consciousness shift that we are currently in the midst of. And even I can admit that my own ego has its days where it's like, I quit. I don't want to do this anymore. I just, oh my God, people suck. Humanity doesn't deserve that. And it's like, okay, what's, what is this for? You know, all right. What is this showing me? So it's massively important. And this is why also right now I'm creating this environment where it's going to have a tree, a tapestry, you know, get grounded being getting and being grounded throughout all of this especially as a sensitive is vital otherwise oh shit gonna get ugly it's gonna get ugly i'm telling you that right now it's going to get ugly all right um connect with nature though and that is why again i'm for myself i'm creating more a little flower and more plants and putting up tapestry it's going to be green you know that earthy you know in fact i'm even shifting my business branding to more far more green with just a hint of pink you know pink for that you know and hot pink of course hot pink all right and here we go again oh my gosh play play don't be too serious you know right here you know really amplifying that innocence and the magic cards right to remind us right all we have is this moment right now all we have is this moment right now and guess what you are your point of attraction so if you are in this moment right here right now asking yourself what do i want to feel what do i want to experience in the next moment and the next moment and the next moment well obviously you want to have good feeling experiences right so then you and me too need to start 
focusing on feeling good and conjuring that feeling good inside of you. Because again, you are a twin flame here to anchor in the new earth energy. And that means you are like a lightning rod, right? You are a lighthouse. You've got to be that standing there doing that work and being a beacon. Okay, so that means you've got to be working on you. And this is why, why I say that a twin flame journey is actually ultimately a self-love empowerment journey because it's uh, the only way to come. Oops, I hit the microphone again. The only way to come into union with your twin is to come home to union within. All right. So play, play, right? So get grounded, play, have fun, be releasing all of this crap. I know it's intense and I really strongly feel that it's going to get more intense before it, before that, that pimple bursts, basically before the pimple erupts. All right. That's where we are. That's just where we are. It's been so abscessed beneath the surface of that, which is humanity that it's just reaching that little, that, that, that eruption point. Um, and it's, it's coming, it's coming. So it's so vital again. This, that's why this theme is play, play, play. There's strength, all right? There's strength in allowing yourself to play, all right? There's strength in having faith in yourself. And so boom, star mother, how can I mother myself? All of this associated with this inner child, be doing that inner child work, be healing yourself. All right, be releasing stories and pattern thinking that no longer serves you. Believe me, I've been working a hell of a lot on that, right? And then it comes down to really truly practicing loving yourself. This is why you ask, how can you mother yourself? My favorite question is, what is the most loving thing I can do for myself in this moment? That is my favorite question to ask. I still have sticky notes up around my house with that question around okay so I recommend you do that write the question on a couple sticky notes and put them throughout your house and the question is what is the most loving thing I can do for myself in this moment and that especially when you are in a challenging moment ask and hear the answer and follow the answer whatever it is okay so really be mothering and being kind to yourself next oh my this is what I said right Healing the inner child, break the chain, ancestral wounds, break the cycle. Because guess what? All of this shit, we can't take it with us to 5D. All the shame and blame and guilt and, and desired vengeance, the anger, all of that shit, we cannot take it with us. You got to let it go. Because guess what? It's only hurting you and anybody and everybody else that you either come into direct contact with or not. Because guess what? You impact and influence the collective. And like I say, I say this for me too. Because remember as twin flames, we are here to heal. This is why healing twin flames was what I was led to create for my, my title out there for my twin flame journey. Because you bet your asses my twin flame journey is hella healing so focused on healing All right but we got to break the chain and then rewriting the future oh yeah rewriting the future as we release the past as we give new meaning to those past experiences by looking for how we can uh, grow stronger from them meaning we look for and we find our power in those experiences we look for the lesson so that we can extract that integrate it and move forward stronger wiser and better and and far more empowered and you know higher vibration and really more powerful more magical stronger for having gone through these experiences right so we've got to be rewriting that future got to be rewriting what and even just writing period what does the new earth look and feel like we've got to stop perpetuating the old one you are here to be the change be the change because guess what oh my gosh all of these cards right now birthing a new age 
That's why you're here, birthing a new age. Oh my goodness. Birthing new creations, dreaming a new world in the beginning, because you are. New earth, new earth. That's why you're here. It is why you're here. So it's time that you get out of your victim mode, okay? And you reclaim your fucking power. You step into that goddess that you are. You shine bright like that diamond. You sparkle and you twinkle. And you might tell someone off here and there because, you know, they're out of line. But that's all right. Because it still comes from a place of love. For those whom you defend and protect. Yes. We are creating a new earth. One of so much love. So much love. So much light. And you're part of it. You're part of it. An integral part of it. So find your gifts. Find your magic. Find your strength. Come back home to you. Remember, the only way to come into union with your twin is to come home to union within. That said, my name is Rochelle Richard. You can book your own private coaching session, reading clarity session with me at empowermentexperiences.com slash ICS. Remember, the power is and always has been inside you. It's already in your hands. Namaste. Namaste.